Hello everyone, Crydax here and welcome back to our compact, clean, and tileable blueprint series. Today we're working with an exciting one, fuel generators. And let me tell you, this one was not easy to figure out because fuel generators barely fit into the Mark II blueprint designer. If we go ahead and grab a fuel gen, you'll notice that it takes up exactly uh, one fourth of the blueprint designer. So you nudge it all the way into the corner where it fits and you can, you know, control nudge to do even smaller nudges to make sure it's all the way in the corner. And then if you build another generator right next to it, you'll notice it's all the way up to this edge as well. And then if you build fuel generators in front, same problem, you'll notice everything is problematic. So now we have the issue of these inputs are too close together. We can't fit a junction in between them. Sadly, like graphically, it feels like it really should work. I wish they allowed encroaching for pipeline junctions. Personally, they allow it with splitters. So it feels weird that they don't allow it with uh, pipeline junctions. So that feels like a little bit of inconsistency to me. But uh, unfortunately, at least for now, the pipeline junctions cannot overlap. So the problem here is that we have to find a way to be able to connect the pipes. Now, there are other ways to do this. If you don't mind a tiny bit of clipping, like you can weirdly, um, you know, you can like bring the pipes back this way. So you could bring one that way and bring one this way and then do some nonsense with that. And there's a tiny bit of clipping down there, but you could work it out. I personally, I didn't want to do something like that. That felt too janky to me. So the solution is to actually vertically elevate two of the generators. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave two generators and apparently those are still there. OK, so we're going to leave two generators and then we are going to place some foundations. Now, this does require the use of half foundations because, as you can tell, the buildings are two and a half by two and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab and you can use whichever foundation you prefer. I like the look of the concrete foundation, but it's totally up to you. And I'm going to zoop the two meter foundation all the way across here and all the way across here. And I'm going to leave the half foundations in front unbuilt because we're actually going to. Um, sorry, when I said we were going to use half foundations, we aren't. Uh, <laughs> uh, for some reason, I was thinking we put foundations under the whole building. We leave the front hanging over. Um, and there's a little bit of a weird jank that I remember. We'll have to see exactly how it comes up, depending on what order you build things in. The front of the generator sometimes doesn't do the little overhang stands. Or maybe this is what the problem was. Oh no, if you nudge it, it works. That's right. So you have to place it and then nudge it using the hologram lock with H, and then you're allowed to place it. And you want to make sure it's in line with this one. And then you can place it. And then the problem is, we'll see if it happens. Yeah, see, it didn't, there's little legs that it'll poke down sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't place them. There it is. So removing the one meter foundations, I guess because it creates these legs, encourages these ones to get created. And I just really like the look of that. Otherwise, I feel like it looks weird. So yeah, so remove the front set of one meter foundations, and then you can you know, lock it in with H, nudge it into the correct spot this way, and then you need to nudge it. Oop, that's not lined up. There we go. And then nudge it left and right until it's in the correct spot. There's only one place that'll even work, so. That's great, and then we rebuild those one meter foundations underneath. Grab it, and then we zoop that across. So there you go, that's how you get these little stands to work. And there are some weirdnesses, like I don't know why I can't walk through here, you know, but it's just the way the models are. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a stackable pipeline and we're gonna get it nice and centered here on this little cross. Um, and we actually, sorry, we're not gonna do stackable pipeline, we're gonna do stackable conveyor pole. We're gonna do two of them and then we do our pipeline. So it's kind of the third thing up. And then we're gonna go across on the other side and set that up as well. And then we'll connect a pipe across. Now you can connect a Mark I or a Mark II. Uh, at this stage in the game, you are pretty close to Mark II. Um, I'm gonna build this blueprint with Mark I. 
but you're gonna be able to upgrade to Mark II pretty soon. Um, you know, once you've got the Mark II Blueprint Designer. So it's kind of up to you which way you want to build it. I'm gonna build it with Mark I here. I will upload a Blueprint with both versions. All right, now how are we gonna get this hooked up? So the problem is we can't just do a single junction that connects to things because look, it clips. It encroaches clearance, so you're going to have to put these junctions off to the side. It's very odd. Um, and the bottom one, obviously, we're going to have to do something different. So what I what I figured out is we can take the bottom one. I need a pipeline mark one. And you come over right next to this uh, little leg of the building. And then you go to horizontal to vertical. So you've got a nice little corner there. And then you come out three more squares. So that's one, two, three, to there. And then you take a splitter and you basically put it so that it looks like it's on the end of it. And then that will allow us to get a pipeline junction that actually snaps. You can see if I hold control, it's snapping to that spot. And then you deconstruct your splitter, you grab your pipeline, and you do horizontal to vertical. Now with horizontal to vertical, the building order does matter. Uh, you want to not go top to bottom. That does weird stuff. You need to go bottom to top. And then it has this nice vertical line. Everything is kind of a smooth angle. This one's not quite a right angle. You could probably place some pipeline supports if you really wanted a right angle here. I, I personally like the way that looks, so I'm fine with it. But you've got options. And then yeah, this junction needs to just be over to the side. So I wanted it to snap with this leg of the building. So you grab a splitter, you put it so that it kind of just is right in line with that leg. And then you can grab a junction. Oh, sorry, it maybe needs to be one over. My memory was incorrect about that. So you go one over from the leg and then you grab your junction and there you go. And for this guy, you just connect it over you can do whichever mode you want noodle or horizontal to vertical personally i think horizontal to vertical looks a little better um and they're both pretty much the same whether you go top to bottom or bottom to top i actually can't really see a difference i'm gonna go bottom to top. so there you go now they're both hooked up uh this one you could hook up on that side i mean you've got lots of options you know if, if you want to just finagle with it till you really like the look the best but they're all going to be relatively the same so we'll go ahead and do it for our second set of fuel generators here. So we'll grab our pipeline mark one, we come out to here, angle it, and then we come out one, two, three tiles, and then we place a splitter basically on the end of that, and then we place our junction, snapped, deconstruct, Grab our pipeline, horizontal, vertical, and voila. And then we do the same thing we did over here where we grab a splitter, we go just to the side of that leg. And then our vertical will snap. We can come over, deconstruct it, and bang, we're good to go. Now what we'll do is we'll deconstruct these, otherwise they would overlap with the, with the next blueprint. So, and we'll deconstruct that pipe on the end. This one is a little weird when you tile them. It's a really stubby connection between the two blueprints. So you'll have to watch out for that. Now, the next interesting thing was power. There's not, because the power's on the back, there wasn't really a super easy way to just kind of bring power down the middle. So what I went with is we place our power pole and it really, kind of how far in you place it doesn't matter, but I just placed it centered on that little square because it was convenient. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a painted beam right next to it and we're gonna go up. Uh, somebody was asking me how to build vertical beams and I, it's actually weird. If you're, at a, if you're at a right angle like I am here, sometimes it keeps wanting to build a horizontal beam or a sideways beam and, you, and building a vertical beam is really hard. And the easiest way to build a vertical beam is stand diagonally from it. And then it won't think you're trying to build a flat beam on the ground. It'll just go vertical. Anyway, we do a three meter painted beam here. And then we grab a wall outlet and we place it on the top of that. And then we connect our power to both fuel generators with that power pole and to our little um, 
outlet here. Now, you may or may not like the, the wall outlet uh, kind of half clipping or not. So just to make it look as good as possible for my taste, I'm actually gonna go up to four meters for this. And then that way it's kind of, you know, held up and it's not halfway overhanging. And then we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. So we'll come over here, we'll place our power pole. I believe it's right behind this little line on the concrete. You may have to measure how many clicks to get it exactly the same as the one on the other side, because now we don't have the blueprint designer like cross hatches that we had before. And then to get a painted beam halfway, you might have to nudge it with control. So you can see control nudge gets me there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up four meters I'm gonna hit H and then we're gonna control nudge it so that it's right next to that power pole. And then I built it on the wrong side, so we do it again, but on the correct side, because it has to be across from the other one. So we build it there and then we grab our wall outlet, place it in the same relative position. Power hooked up to both fuel generators, power hooked up to the wall outlet, and then we take our wall outlet and it goes right across not clipping through anything to the other wall outlet. Isn't that beautiful? And that's it. That is our 4X fuel generators. Uh, I'm pretty proud of this one. I think it looks pretty good. There, again, you can mess with where this one is attached to get slightly different looks, but it looks pretty clean. I actually really like when you tile these a bunch of, I, I have a 20 gigawatt turbo fuel factory with these and I, uh, I didn't overclock them. So there's 80 fuel generators and it's just a really cool ocean of them and having one set three meters higher actually ends up looking really cool. So I, I, I liked this one a lot. I thought it was pretty nice. Example, fuel generators, X4, Mark 1, as in Mark 1 pipe. We'll call that P1, just to be clear. And we set our directory as examples, and then we select our icon as fuel generators, and we go ahead and save it. Now we're gonna go ahead and example tiling this one because you know the stubby pipes can get a little annoying and it looks like I forgot to dismantle a couple things here from the last example and we've got a bunch of crap in a box. So we'll get rid of that. And yeah, so we'll grab our fuel generator example here. And you're gonna line them up. The nice thing about these is it's pretty easy to line them up because of the concrete. So you can just kind of make sure the concrete's on the same position as you're snapping it to the other one in blueprint mode, and then you should be good to go. The other nice thing is power can be hooked up on either side, right? Because all, of, all four of these are connected to each other. So I can connect any power line to any power line. You can just go across like that. And then the, the only other connection you have to worry about is the fuel. And so it's just these two right here and apparently it doesn't like it. So you may need to deconstruct that pipe and go across. I've had it do that sometimes. I don't totally understand why it decides to not like it sometimes and it does like it other times. You can also deconstruct these if you want to. Um, totally up to you. But yeah, you, you may need to deconstruct the pipe so that it's all just one segment. I've had it work sometimes, I've had it not work other times. So just be aware that that may be an issue. And that's it, that's our fuel generator blueprint. I've got my 20 gigawatt turbo fuel factory running off of this, looks pretty nice. And with that, we'll call it the end of the episode. As always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. We'll be doing uh, blenders next. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.